I've literally taken all these tests and they've all come back positive. So that's why I got the blood test because I just need to confirm. I've got first response, I've got clear blue. I also have a couple more in my drawer, so just in case, I'm still gonna keep testing. But if my results tomorrow for the blood test come back positive, then that's just it, I'm pregnant. Oh my God, I just got the blood test results and I'm about estimated about five, five weeks pregnant. I'm, I'm literally almost six weeks pregnant. I don't even know how to react right now. Like, I don't even know how I feel. <gasps> oh my god. I'm like, I'm cold. I literally feel like I can pass out right now. I'm literally freaking. Estoy embarazada. En serio. Sí. Literal. <laughs> Good morning. Today I woke up and I've been reading and like watching so many videos just like what to expect in my first trimester and stuff because I love just like educating myself on that just so I know obviously with my first pregnancy I want this to go as smooth as possible so I want to be educated as much as I can be um, but I've been watching like a lot of like first trimesters and what to expect like each week and my blood test came back saying that I'm about like six weeks pregnant, but I swear I feel like I'm a little more ahead just because like every video I see is talking about how like by week seven, week eight, like you start feeling like headaches, really bad nausea. Um, you're also feeling way more tired. Your like your breasts start to feel a lot more tender. You can start already noticing like changes in like your body and that's how i'm feeling right now i'm really excited for one stage just so i can actually go to the gynecologist and she can do an exam hopefully we can do an ultrasound by then and kind of see where we're at because i really do feel like i'm more far along than just six weeks just because of the symptoms that i'm having oh my god i literally woke up like in the middle of the night last night with the biggest nausea and i was like i don't want to throw up i don't want to throw up so i kind of just slept through it but when i woke up today oh my god it was horrible you guys it was so bad but i've been also watching videos and reading and a lot of people say that it's better just to have like a little bit of crackers or like um cheerios which is funny because i just bought cheerios yesterday like out of nowhere i never eat cheerios but that's one of the cravings that i've been having i really wanted cheerios um so anyways they re recommend having like cheerios on your nightstand and first thing before you like get up or anything in the morning eat a little bit so that it decreases your morning sickness because it's really brutal it's horrible i also woke up today and i noticed that like my belly feels a little bit bigger obviously it's not because the baby is big because i know the baby's still like super small but it's obviously my uterus expanding so much and all of that that just i feel so bloated and big but literally this is how my stomach is looking right now i've never had like super flat stomach but this is, not, this is not my regular stomach. I know when my stomach is bloated regularly and this is not how my stomach looks like when it's bloated. So we definitely got a baby in here. Tomorrow I'll have my first OBGYN visit and I am pretty sure that they're gonna perform the first ultrasound only because of how far along I am. Um, like around week six to week seven, you can actually do your first ultrasound. Sometimes you might actually even see the heartbeat of the baby. So let's see how that goes. I am praying, I am channeling all the good energy that tomorrow goes well. I wake up so nauseous and I do keep my baggie of Cheerios next to me so I can at least eat that so the nausea goes a little bit away. But today specifically, even after I had breakfast, it just was still there. So I was like, you know what? I, you just can't fight it. It comes to a point that you just can't fight your nausea. So I just went ahead and just threw up. And it's really nasty because, I mean, it, not to be too much TMI, but... When you throw up, let me know if this has happened to you too, but it's not like you're actually throwing up your food. It's like literally just like, I guess it's just acid, like stomach acid coming out. Mm, it's really nasty. And like my upset stomach has kind of just stayed like that throughout the day. I had a little bit like a small snack right now too. And it's just my stomach's just not feeling it. And it's not that I'm eating unhealthy because I've been eating a lot of home cooked meals lately, a lot of iron a lot of protein fiber rice all of that stuff so i know i'm eating good but it's just like my stomach just feels so sensitive today 
and I just don't feel good. Like I feel exhausted, like I'm breaking out and I just don't feel good. I don't feel good. Good morning. It is February 22nd and we are about to leave to my first OBGYN visit, which I am really excited. I'm really hoping that everything is fine in there, that the baby's okay. I still feel very nauseous. Today I woke up feeling super sick, don't like it. So I am praying to the gods that the doctor can help me out also with my morning sickness. Small little bump update. This is what it looks like. The dress is a little flowy, but it is a size small. So this is what you see when you look at me. If it was a little tighter, here we got the belly. I just came back from the first OBGYN visit and I have a lot of news. Unfortunately, I was hoping that I was a little more far along, more like in the eight week to seven and a half week um, point. And the ultrasound tech came in and she said, all right, we're gonna perform the ultrasound, blah, blah, blah. She asked me the last day of my period. And then she said, well, it looks like you might be nine weeks. And I was like, holy shit. I was like, are you serious? But then when she performed the ultrasound, the one that goes on your belly, like on your uterus, she still didn't see anything on the belly. So at that point, we did a transva transvaginal, I think that's what the correct name is, transvaginal um, ultrasound, which means that it actually goes inside of you. And then she was able to see the baby. So the baby's still very small. She said it's about the size of a grain of rice. And once we measured the dimensions of the baby, the embryo, uterus, whatever it was that we were seeing, I'm only six weeks and a day today. So every Tuesday, I turn a week older. Also gave us an estimate of when the due date is, and our due date is October 17th, 2023. Meaning that we are gonna be having a little Libra baby, and I don't know that many Libra people in my life, but the few that I do know, I love them. And Libras and Leos are a very compatible sign as well. Um, so I love it. When I was doing the math in my head, everything was pointing at a september baby uh, which is a virgo baby and now hey to my virgos out there but leos and virgos are not the most compatible signs libra babies are also very musically you know gifted which is a huge thing in my family because my dad's side of the family they love music my dad loves to sing so that's amazing i feel very happy about that we did get the first ultrasound images of our baby too and like i said it's very very small I don't know if you guys can tell it's literally super tiny it's right there your first OBGYN visit is gonna be so long literally we were there for almost three hours it was very long it's a lot of just like one-on-one -on -one with the doctor on your first visit you really just are getting to know each other and the doctor's getting to know you kind of getting an idea you know of like where this pregnancy is going I told her I have been taking my birth control. I've been taking birth control for years. I have never stopped taking my birth control because that's something obviously that I've been taking since I was a teenager. I'm very consistent with it. I'm very organized with it. So probably before I found that I was pregnant, I was still taking birth control while I was pregnant. I told her that my cycle tends to be very irregular, right? There's months that I don't get anything at all. There's other months that, you know, my cycle might come later or might come earlier. And she said, that it's really odd that I was never diagnosed with like cystic ovaries, something like that. She said something like that. I don't remember what it was, but it's a diagnosis that you women have in their uterus. And it's very hard for women that have that to get pregnant, like super hard. A lot of people have to get treatments to get the cyst like removed. Um, so she said, not only did you get pregnant with that condition, but you also got pregnant while being on birth control. So she like threw jokes around just saying that that baby was meant to come. Everything in my life has happened so quick. My life has been very, you know, not typical. Everything that's happened in my life has not come at its typical stage, time stage. And everything that's come in my life and that's happened, I know it's happened for a reason and it's always been a good reason. So... I know that this baby, although it did come a few years earlier than what me and Kevin were planning, I know it's gonna be a huge blessing in our lives and I am very excited. It's so hard keeping this from my friends because like all I want is just to be like, we're expecting.
something and it this is like a personal choice i mean you choose whenever you want to tell you know your family or your friends and me and kevin chose to at least tell our families earlier because i mean you know your family is going to be there to support you but i will choose to tell like my friends after the first trimester because that's when it's a little more secure that you know knock on wood god forbid a miscarriage happens hi guys i just i hate recording myself when i cry i hate it so much but i feel like i just want to show the raw side of pregnancy and obviously pregnancy is different for everybody but at least for me you guys like the first trimester has been such pain and like i feel so uncomfortable in my own body and it sucks because obviously like i'm so happy and i want to enjoy my pregnancy but i just physically can't when all i feel is nausea it's stomach pain and it just sucks because like it happens every night before i want to go to sleep like i lay down and i try to eat as late as possible so that my stomach doesn't feel empty because once my stomach feels empty i get the worst nausea ever but no i eat as late as i can and something small i have my cereal with me in my nightstand i have my water i have ginger ale i have ginger tea and still as soon as i lay down it's like my body just knows that i'm ready to go to sleep and it starts hurting i just got this in the mail today so i ordered both of these from amazon this is kind of like my pregnancy journal this is something that i'm just gonna write in um for me this is gonna be what i'm gonna use to tell my dad and my stepmom about my pregnancy hopefully tomorrow or something this weekend i love going through photos and kind of just like remembering i feel like photos and like journals is a very great way of bringing back memories and I wish my parents would have been like that because you know what growing up i did have a lot of photos and videos of myself and now they're nowhere to be found so i'm gonna go ahead and do this for my baby it's a little like blush pink so if it's a boy i mean too bad but i'm manifesting that it's gonna be a girl so it's like a little bit of like a blush pink and i'm gonna put the ultrasound picture here and you're just kind of like filling like information in and then whenever you know my baby is big enough to read and stuff this is gonna be um hers or his and hopefully you know they appreciate just looking back into those moments when they were in my belly good morning i am not feeling good at all today i am officially in my seven week mark and the baby is the size of a blueberry blue the size of a blueberry or the size of a jelly bean or the size of a honeybee Today, you guys, I'm just not feeling well. Well, yesterday in general, yesterday I was feeling so bad. The day started off good. I had breakfast. I felt good. My stomach felt good. I had my um, te de manzanilla. I felt awesome. And then towards dinner, not even, I think like a little before dinner, like probably like during the afternoon-ish, like late afternoon, I started to feel the nausea again. I just literally had to run to the bathroom. Kind of like those like movie scenes where the pregnant woman just runs to the bathroom. That was me literally yesterday and I was just like throwing up everything. And oh my God, it's the worst. It's the worst because it's like, you need to eat. You need to eat in order not to get the nausea even though I still get the nausea when I eat. And then you eat all of that just to go ahead and throw it up. And then your stomach is back to being empty. and you know i'm the type of person like when i throw up like i don't even want to eat anymore because like my stomach just feels so sensitive oh it sucks it sucks and then today i woke up you know okay a little bit of pain but i felt fine i had my breakfast and then right now i just threw up and then my nausea is like getting to me so i'm gonna make an oatmeal because i know oatmeal keeps your belly full see how that goes but I think I'm gonna have to call my OBGYN and she's gonna have to give me something. So, I don't know. I was trying to stay away from the medication. Like, I really just want to push through and just wait at least until that 10, 12th week because everybody says that morning sickness goes down by a lot during 10 weeks and 12 weeks. But it's like, I just can't, you know? It's one thing to get morning sickness here and there, whatever, like two times a day whatever but i it's constant it's like a constant thing and it's just it's affecting my everyday life it's affecting my mood 
I don't like it. So I think I'm gonna have to call my doctor and see what the heck we can do about this because like I just I really just don't want to cry because I'm, I hate crying but it's like I'm so uncomfortable and I'm in so much pain I you know have no energy to even do my hair right now so this is this is what you guys are gonna get this is the reality of pregnancy I'm just gonna update you guys really quick I am almost done with my seven week mark I am about to go into my eight week mark but thank you Dr. Nadia because she literally saved my life and she prescribed me with my medication and I have been feeling really well ever since. I can finally eat what I want to eat. If my stomach doesn't feel upset, I feel good. So this is nice. My blood test results came back and my thyroid levels are good. So I don't have to take levothyroxine, which I really wasn't looking forward because when I did take levothyroxine back when I was like a teen, it made me really nauseous. So I was like, can you just <laughs> let me be? But my thyroid levels are good, so that's awesome. I don't even know why I feel so emotional right now. I think that it might just have to do, you know, like my hormones are all over the place. It just kind of like hitting that eight week mark. I feel like I feel a lot more emotional lately. But anyways, these are not sad tears, at least today, because I have, I've had a lot of sad tears, obviously because of the way that I feel literally just going on my pregnancy tracker app and then the first thing that comes up when you open your pregnancy tracker app is you know kind of like an estimate or like an idea of how your baby looks like going week by week and this is how my baby's supposed to be looking like i just got like emotional because it's finally looking like a little baby because this is how it was looking like before right you know your regular like weird looking embryo growing but now it's actually starting to look like a baby like what a baby actually looks like and that just got me a little emotional because i still can't believe i have like a little human sorry i hate crying and i hate being emotional if you guys know like leos are very they try to be like super tough all the time and that's always how like i try to be like if i ever like cry or get emotional like most of the time i try to do it when nobody's around me or like when kevin's not around me because i just i just hate it i hate people being like oh my god like why are you crying i hate it so emotional like there's a lot of like hormones like going around and oh i just can't believe there's literally a baby inside of me if this is how i feel right now just like seeing the progress of the baby's growth like can you imagine when i actually give birth because i always see always always see like these birth vlogs and Obviously, it's very, very normal for the mom to, or the dad, whoever, for both parents to even cry at the birth of their child, obviously. There's a lot of, like, adrenaline going on at the moment, so I can't even imagine how that moment's gonna be for me. Like, I feel like I'm gonna be, like, non-stop sobbing. Non-stop sobbing. It's like, I can't even describe the feeling. We are officially in week nine. The medication is all good. But here and there, I mean, I was, I still feel nauseous. Like for example, the other day I had to like throw up really bad at night. So sometimes I still feel bad. I still feel really tired. Um, my breasts are really, really sore and they've gotten a lot bigger. Obviously they are growing immensely and it just feels really sore. Like even just when I take off my bra, anything that just touches them or passes by, it just feels so uncomfortable and mm, I don't feel the nausea as much like I still feel it but not as crazy but the stomach pain really really hurts like it's literally like I feel somebody like punching my stomach next week for week 10 I'm gonna get my genetic testing which that tests for possibilities of down syndrome um and they also test like a bunch of other stuff the most important one though um obviously it's the possibilities of down syndrome but it's the gender test and I was really shocked because one I didn't know that you can find out the gender of a baby through blood work and as early as 10 weeks a long long time ago the only way to do it back in the days was through the ultrasound and usually for that you have to wait minimum 14 to 16 weeks so they can go ahead and see what the anatomy of the baby is um so i really wasn't expecting that so yeah, I'm really excited for next week. Since we are at the nine week mark, I feel a little bit more safe. Obviously not to just put it out in public yet on um, in Instagram, but I did start telling some of my external family as like my uncles, my cousins, 
and uh i was just really overwhelmed earlier today because you know i mean obviously everybody was just really happy saying congratulations um my aunt texted me saying that she was really happy you know wishing us the best and oh i just get really emotional because i'm like oh my god i can't believe i'm having a baby i am really excited to finally start telling people the closest people to me and at least for my friends to know because like i said i have been suffering i'm the type of person that like when i feel bad i love to talk to my friends and be like oh my god like i feel like shit anybody else even though i always tell them like oh my god i don't feel good they don't know why they just think that you know like i'm just losing sleep or like i'm just really tired but no it's because i have a fucking baby growing inside of me I found this ultrasound clinic on Google and I'm gonna share her info because honestly she is freaking bomb. She pretty much like operates her own office, right? And her pricing is honestly amazing. This place is called I View I Vu Baby. So it's I V U E Baby and it's in Plantation, Florida. Like it's super cozy. It just feels really nice and the girl i believe her name was is mary is mary she is amazing she is super kind if you are in the miami for lauderdale plantation whatever area and you want to get an ultrasound i would highly recommend it i'm gonna leave her info down because honestly i am super happy that i found her she is amazing and i got these new photos of baby and it is so much well he or she is so much bigger now compared to the first ultrasound images. We heard the heartbeat as well, so I'll try to insert some clips of the heartbeat. And we got to hear that, and the baby was just moving so much. Obviously, this early on, you're not gonna feel anything as a mama, but the baby's moving, and they move a lot. Like, the baby was like jumping and like doing its thing, and it was there, it was a very active baby. But yeah, we are very happy. She said that everything was good, that the baby was positioned in a very good place that it had enough space down there to like move around so that everything looked good and the baby looked good. We are now in week 10. I'm already kind of already ending week 10. Week 10, for the past three days now, I've started to feel a lot better, thankfully, and knock on wood that, you know, I keep feeling this way, but today I actually did not take any of my nausea medication, just to kind of like start testing on my body to see how I feel throughout the day um and so far i have felt really good i haven't felt sick i felt a little more energized like i don't feel as tired anymore so i'm hoping that this is how i stay now that i only keep getting better um the doctor did say that around week 10 to 12 women start to feel a lot better because your hormones are not producing as much anymore um obviously you're still you know producing a lot of hormones but it calms down a lot more because by this point now the baby is very well developed so this is how the baby's looking now it obviously looks literally like a human it has the arms and the legs already fully formed and about two weeks ago this is what we were working with so as you can tell your body does go through like a lot of changes obviously that's why your hormones are changing like crazy and why a lot of women tend to feel like shit during the first trimester today i actually got my blood work done they told me I'm gonna get my test results between seven to seven to seven business days. Hoping it's a girl, but like I said, what matters is that at the end of the day, it's a healthy baby. Just yesterday, I was saying how I'm starting to feel so much better and that I don't have nausea, none of that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Today, I feel like shit. I feel really bad. I think, honestly, you guys, it's just because of my eating habits, like, it's really hard for me to eat during like the time that I've been pregnant because it's like I just don't want to cook and eating outside just does not appetize me like at all like just me thinking of like outside food and uh I feel sick to my stomach but then even though I want to eat home food it's like I don't want to cook it because the smell just really bothers me a lot like even if it's something like eggs like I just as soon as I, like, I'm like, oh, eggs sound really good. But then as soon as I start to think about cooking the egg, I don't want it anymore. So I've been in that dilemma since yesterday. Like, yesterday, I know it's not good. Um, I didn't even have dinner. So I ended up having a bagel with cream cheese, like, late at night. Um, yeah, I, I felt like shit. 
and now I woke up today the same way and I had cereal um and like I said I really want eggs but as soon as I think about the eggs I'm like I don't want it anymore um so I'm pretty sure that's why I feel bad it's just because like my stomach is not as full as it should be um but it just sucks like I just don't I can't I literally can't I just woke up so this is what we're working with but I am now 11 weeks we are finally almost done with the first trimester now let me tell you guys something because I know last week I was like you know what I feel really good I'm starting to feel better now this week I felt like shit I felt like I just you know kind of like regressed back in time yesterday I woke up like if I was back on week six I had really bad nausea in the morning um and every time I got up, like I just felt really dizzy and I felt like I had to throw up. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna stay in bed. Today I woke up again, you know, feeling really sick, but at least today I was able to get up, eat some cereal, take my vitamins, and at least, you know, get the day going. So hopefully I start to feel a little better today. But let me tell you, let me tell you what my new symptom that came in recently last night is heartburn. I could not fucking sleep last night because I had the worst heartburn. Sleep is getting just worse and worse to, for me. I'll usually sleep on my left side, but then like in the middle of the night, like I'll wake up and like my belly feels uncomfortable. So I'm like, all right, let's turn to the right. I sleep for a little bit on the right, then I get uncomfortable again. So I'm like, all right, let's go back to the left and so on. And I'm somebody that I love to sleep on my belly, like belly down, face down, like I love sleeping like that. And I can't do that anymore. So I'm thinking very heavily of getting a pregnancy pillow, which most women don't even get a pregnancy pillow until like almost like mid through their second trimester to like beginning of the third trimester. But I just feel like it's very uncomfortable. Like my belly just needs support. I feel like that's the issue. Like I sleep with three pillows, like one on my head, one on my leg and another one hugging. But I feel like that's not enough and I feel like that's actually really uncomfortable for me. And I feel like I just need like one big long pillow to kind of like just Across my whole body it's just it's getting hard and it's honestly becoming really frustrating especially yesterday like I felt like just I feel like crying but I'm, I'm trying to prevent myself from crying as much as before obviously because the baby can feel the mommy's emotions and I don't want my baby to be under any type of stress so I'm trying to stay away from crying but yesterday I felt really frustrated because I mean hello I'm almost ending my first trimester, like my symptoms should be going away by now, but yesterday I felt like I was just back to square one. Ugh. And it's so hard to like stay positive and you know, like think positive and be optimistic when you feel like fucking dog shit. Um, also, my girl Lauren announced that she was pregnant i was watching her video and she was talking about how her pregnancy has been amazing and she's had like no symptoms and like her skin is glowing her hair is glowing and i'm like like i want to cry just thinking about that because i'm like that's the pregnancy i want to experience but i can't that's not the pregnancy that i got like i literally just said i didn't want to cry <sighs> but here we are i also wanted to say that i'm very thankful for everybody that left a nice message after I posted my pregnancy on Instagram. Um, I got so many comments, so many messages, like from people that I haven't even talked to like in years or people that, I, you know, I know like we haven't had the best past before, but they still made the effort to reach out. <sighs> Sorry, I hate crying on the camera. Because I literally have the ugliest cry face. Like, look at this. I just want to say thank you. <sighs> because, honestly, like, even if you think that I don't care about your comment or your messages, like, trust me. <laughs> like, even if you're a freaking stranger, like, <sighs> it makes me feel better because <sighs> this first trimester has been so hard. <sighs> like, only I can describe the pain that my body goes through, like the discomfort. As much as Kevin is active on the pregnancy, like as much as I vent to him, obviously like he'll never be able to really understand. Or anybody that I vent to, like you really can't understand unless like you've been through it. I'm so happy, but it's so hard 
to feel that happiness or even you know show that happiness <sighs> because you just feel under so much stress discomfort and anyways i just want to say thank you for everybody that's reached out to me because as horrible as i feel like just reading those comments and messages like it makes me feel so much better i'm really happy about that i've had so many people just say congratulations like thank you because even though i have i know i have support from everybody around me like my family my friends it really does feel really lonely sometimes because like i said my symptoms like i really wish i really wish that my pregnancy would have been smooth happy and uh, I would have been feeling glowing. Like, no, I've told you guys. Like, I literally, I've never felt uglier. Probably since, like, middle school when I used to suffer from, like, really bad acne. But, like, I've never felt, like, more hideous about myself. My hair has never been worse. Like, my skin just feels awful. So, it's just really hard on me personally. As much as people tell me, like, no, you look beautiful and stuff. It's just, I know my body. Like, I know when my body doesn't feel the same. Just the fact that I can't get my regular sleep anymore because it's so uncomfortable at night. It's hard. It's been hard. I'm just really happy that I've been able to at least share it with the world. And, you know, just knowing that there's so many people, you know, that are also happy with the news. And, you know, just thank you. Thank you. I really, really appreciate all the comments and the messages. I wash my face, I redid my braids, I feel better, and I made myself a berry smoothie. I literally hate crying on the camera because, like I said, like I am such an ugly crier, and I can't even talk when I cry. Like my, I mean, you guys saw it. I don't, I don't have to say much. You guys saw it. My gender reveal is very soon. It's the eighth, April eighth. And I'm very excited. I just literally cannot wait to find out what I'm going to have. I swear. I know I'm destined to be a girl mom. But like I said, what matters is that at the end of the day, the baby's healthy. So girl, boy, I don't care. All I want is a healthy baby. But I just know that I'm a girl mom. Also, let me give you guys an update on my belly. So like I said, I am 11 weeks today. Um, I am, oh, <laughs> oh my god, I, uh, sorry guys, I'm getting a heartburn right now. <sighs> if I was to put it like that, this is what it looks like. My belly definitely changes sizes throughout the day. Um, when I wake up in the morning, it's obviously a lot smaller. As I keep eating throughout the day, by the end of the night, my belly is literally huge. When I post my pictures on Instagram, my belly looks really big like it, you could you you could say that i'm even like five months pregnant in that photo which i'm not um but it's because i took my pictures at the end of the day like we went to the beach right around sunset and literally that day for breakfast i had ihop and i like right before the images like right before the, the photo session i had oh God, it fucking hurts. I had a big bowl of broccoli cheddar soup. So, yes, my belly is big. I feel like it's bigger than what it usually is for people at 11 weeks. Um, but it's not that big. It looks a lot bigger at the end of the day because I'm really bloated. <laughs> it's still pretty big. And what I've had so far is cereal and the smoothie that I'm drinking right now. So probably by the end of the day, it's going to be a lot bigger. If I remember to film later, maybe I'll show you guys like what it looks like at the end of the day. So it's almost like 11 p.m. And this is how my belly looks like before I go to bed. So this is what the belly looks like at the end of the day. So I told you guys, the size of my belly literally changes throughout the day. In the morning, it was a lot smaller. And right now, it literally looks like I could be fucking six months pregnant. Um, which is also part of why it's so uncomfortable for me because since my stomach is really, you know, prone to getting, um, what's the name? Bloated. 
So already having a big belly because of my pregnancy and then feeling bloated, it just, it's not a good combo. It feels really nasty. I'm so freaking excited right now. I ordered my pregnancy pillow. I think it was last night or the day, yeah, like two days ago. And it arrived, which was really quick. I got this one from Mom Cozy. Um, so I'm gonna test it out and see how it works. If it's good, then I will let you guys know because I'm excited. This one, it's actually a cooling, cooling pillow. So, which I'm also like very, very excited. I wake up in the middle of the night overheating. Like I get the biggest like hot flashes in the middle of the night. And that's something that's only been happening now that I'm pregnant. Um, freaking sucks. So hopefully with this cooling pillow, like it helps me like stay asleep more and I don't have to wake up as often. Okay, the material feels really nice. Like it feels cool. It feels really cool. Um, this is the full pillow. This is fucking huge. Hopefully tonight I can get a good night rest. And it's Friday, so I'm excited because tomorrow I don't have to wake up early. So I hope I get a good night's sleep tonight. So we are officially in week 12. And it was not a good... What do you mean? Like, what do you say? Like, a good way of receiving the week, the new week. Because <clears throat> last night, like around like 12.30ish um, in the morning... I, like, right before going to bed, I felt, like, super, super sick. And, like, stomach voice. I was like, oh, like, let me just go throw up. And, like, I didn't think anything of it. Um, I went and, like, I threw up. And then I came back and laid down. And, like, a couple minutes after, like, I had to go back and throw up. And when I, like, went back to throw up, it was a lot more. Um, and it started burning a lot, like, on my chest area and, like, right here. And I started throwing up blood, which obviously it's a huge concern. Um, luckily, I didn't have any like abdominal pain. It was just like a lot of chest pain in here. Like I kind of felt like I couldn't breathe. It literally felt like I had like a chip, like a like a like a potato chip, like stuck in my throat, and I couldn't like swallow. I couldn't breathe. And I really wanted to stay away from going to the ER. There was no urgent care open at that time, which to me was freaking crazy because when I lived in Maryland, I mean, we had 24-7 urgent cares. I kept throwing up and like about like the fourth time I threw up, the blood started to get darker. So that's when I woke up, Kevin, I was like, yeah, like we have to go to the ER. So we got dressed, we had it done. Um, I was crying, like I was really stressed. Obviously, like I was in a lot of pain. Um, we checked in. And they did blood work, they put in IV, all of that stuff. My hemoglobin levels were good, so that means that I didn't lose a lot of blood while I was throwing up. Um, they did find like a bacterial infection, so I got prescribed antibiotics. But the baby was good, which is what matters. They did an ultrasound, um, and we got to see the baby. And the baby's so big, it's huge. It's literally like from the last time that we went, it's times three, it's huge. Um, but it was a really horrible, like, traumatic experience. Not because of the hospital, like, just the way I was feeling. Like, I, I had the chills. I was shaking. I was throwing up. If I laid down, like, I felt sick. If I sat up, like, I felt sick. I felt, like, claustrophobic to a point. Like, I would get hot, then I would get cold. It was really bad, and it was horrible, horrible, horrible. Um, anyways, we were in the ER for, like, until, like, 6 a.m., and I've been in bed rest the whole day today. Um, and today has been kind of like the same. I've been throwing up a lot. <clears throat> like I literally can't keep food down or like liquids, anything. Because I literally throw up everything. That's how my week 12 has been. Not the best. Um, this pregnancy has literally been so rough on me. But on the good side, my genetic testing came back today so we know well we don't know the gender of the baby but my stepmom knows the gender of the baby now which is awesome um and yeah we are a couple of days away from the gender reveal so I, I you know i need my body to kind of like pick it up and feel better because i hate being in bed all day i hate not doing anything i hate knowing that my house is like disgusting and i don't have the energy to get up and kevin kind of like took like a half day today too to kind of like come home and take care of me and I'm here with my girl, Nicole, Kevin's sister. Um, she's been awesome. She's been, like, helping me and stuff. Not a fun pregnancy, but it's okay. My baby's good, and that's what matters. We 
are officially in the second trimester so that means it is the end of this first trimester vlog and let me tell you i will not miss the first trimester i think i'm traumatized with the first trimester not that i feel any different honestly you guys i still feel like shot um but let's see how the second trimester goes i'm gonna try to be a little more positive going into the second trimester but i'm very excited to finally be in the second trimester we are getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to my due date even though it's still very far out <laughs> i feel like it's a great way to wrap up the first trimester with my gender reveal which was i think that's the best way to have ended the first trimester and just knowing that i'm having a baby girl and i am so happy like i don't think i can describe like as much as i like write it and like post about it saying that i'm happy like i am so happy I, I don't even know how else to say like i feel like everything has come in full circle for me i feel like everything that i've wanted you know like in my love life and family life it's, it's happened like exactly how i've always wanted like i always wanted you know to have a healthy relationship with somebody which luckily i found somebody that provides me with a very healthy relationship i wanted to get married you know have my house now i'm having a baby with my husband which makes me really happy but not only that i always 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 and like i i'm not even kidding like ever since i was a little girl i always said that my first baby was going to be a girl and it's a girl and i am so happy i see myself as a girl mom i always 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 have seen myself as a girl mom if you know me then you know i'm the girl mom so i'm excited to bring a little princess into this world and to have those great memories that i had growing up with my mom and be able to make those memories with my baby and be able to rewatch all the princess movies all over again like i am so excited i just feel like it's different like the bond that you like the bond that an older sister has with their younger siblings is a lot different than the bond that an older sib that an older brother has with his younger siblings and i see that a lot just like for example me and kevin like i know kevin loves his siblings and stuff but the bond that a guy has with his siblings is a lot different than that motherly relationship that a girl had i'm pretty sure a lot of us girls went through this growing up but every time and i mean this like every single time that i wanted to go hang out at a friend's house the first questions were always does the dad live there and do they have an older brother and if they had an older brother i'm telling you the chances of me ever going over to that house would minimize to like zero percent which i see that um like i understand that why so i kind of always wanted that to be my case like just in case like my if my baby ever wanted to have friends over like i didn't want her to not be able to bring friends over because there was an older brother in the house so i feel blessed every day and i feel so happy just like oh i just want to see my little girl and i just know she's gonna be beautiful and it just makes sense like from the moment that i knew that my baby was going to be a libra like i just knew that this had to be a girl one because libra women are very beautiful like they are literally stunning like my family my side of the family we are full team girl like we are girl lovers so we were very happy when we found out that i was having a girl mm -hmm. 